did the local local 1885 little bakery and uh, came out with the conclusion that they asked one question in which way would you like your sugar and gluten shaped like this shaped like this with a little stuff inside with a little powder on top They led us all the way here. Lucky number eight. One of the things Jeremy and I have realized is that you don't need to necessarily book a tour to find out all the places that a tour will take you. All you have to do is walk along the main drag of the street and see where the tourist signs are. You know, they have little signs or things they're holding up so that everyone can stay on that tour and know where to go. You follow the sign. So we just kind of follow the sign and we end up places like this. Number nine. There's number nine. Where's number nine? Let's follow number nine. Where they're gonna go next? Hmm. We're across the street from our hotel. A little gourmet patio mall. I got a burger from a burger joint that started in 1906. This is a potato bun. Jack Daniels infused bacon, which is like a ham slice almost, but it's a very thick bacon. Beef patty with the cheese bun on the bottom. So that looks good. And the potatoes are fantastic. Guacamole is basically pureed aguacate with olive oil. No complaints there. This is the first time I've ever seen a Perrier, Perrier um, mug or a glass. Maybe it tastes good with, with it better in glass. Mm. Here we go. Mm. The potato bun and the mozzarella are like best friends. Mm. BFFs. If I haven't mentioned it recently, I love Europe. I love the vibes by the water. So many European towns are built on like a river or a waterway. And so if you think of Paris, if you think of London, if you think of so many other even smaller villages and towns, it's all around the river. And so it's just, yeah, it's lovely vibes. It's a beautiful day today. Oh my gosh, so lovely. Jeremy's got his drone shots, but I got my mosaic flyover. We woke up this morning ready at 9.45. We were supposed to be at a tourism office where we're going to be picked up and brought to do an olive oil tour and tasting. And we showed up and we were excited and we told them we're there and we're checking in and we're early as always, right? We're like 25 minutes early. When you travel, plans change all the time. We get to the desk, they say, oh, so sorry, your tour's been moved to 12 o'clock instead of 9.45. And we were like, I have calls at three o'clock. I have coaching calls. And so like, what do you mean it's been moved? Like two and a half hours back, two and a quarter hours back. Like that's not gonna work for us. The tour's like three and a half hours. I'm not gonna be able to do that. And so that was a little disappointing. We were all ready to go. We had our day planned out and now we're planning our day on the fly, but it works out because it is a lovely day. 
And so Jeremy's getting some really awesome drone shots and we're gonna walk around, find a fun place to eat and make the best of it. I mean, at the end of the day, we're in Sevilla, so there's no complaints. So Jeremy likes to fly his drone like he's Jason Bourne. Yeah, kind of. 1% uh, risk, 99% success rate. And always go to the, the secluded places to get your work done. Yeah, you know, if Don't you're going to be in the public and you're going to try to do something crazy in public, even if it's right and it's good and you're doing everything up and up, people still get weird. So it's always good to go, you know, two streets away from, from the, um, the big brother. And then, um, you know, you don't catch any tourists off guard and you're doing the right thing, you know, playing it safe, being smart. So, yep, that's what I like to do. And uh, success rate's pretty good. The 1% failure rate's on me. So, pretty good. Taking one more breath beside you So I could find strength to divide us Baby, though we got it, I know We did the best we could If I could go back, undo the mess I would memorize your face before I go But this is how we grow Russian salad? No, this is potatoes they only. Oh. We are at Bodega Santa Cruz, which is one of the highest reviewed that I could see places in the area. The bodega just means wine cellar, but they're everywhere and they're super fun and a little chaotic. It's kind of like find your own table, go to the bar, order your stuff and keep it rolling. Convince them to serve you. It's like you're there. And if you're not like cutting and pushing people out of the way and speaking in fluent local, then you're like a fly on the wall. So I probably got like bumped into and cut in line like three or four times until finally I said no more. No, I didn't do that. I just waited patiently and then eventually there was anybody else in line, so they had to choose me. So, and he realized, well, he probably has money. So there's that. Vegetarian options, very limited. Even more limited, they didn't have the vegan option that I wanted, which was gazpacho, and that was the only tapa that was vegan. Um, I did learn that tapas is more than one, and tapa is one, so you can order a tapa, or tapas if you get more than one. I also learned that the streets were created to be tall and narrow for the shade. And this is the hottest day so far that we've been here and I definitely appreciate the shade. So good for them. They thought it through. Honestly, when I think of Europe, this is exactly what I think of. You're in a little street that there's no cars, you're hanging outside at a cafe, you're looking at a cathedral, you're under an orange tree, you're just enjoying food, enjoying life, taking it easy. Thousand dollar pen. It's like a gold. Um... Mm -hmm.